What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. You're watching a rich and jazzy live. Today we are on the biggest, newest cruise ship in the world. It is our day two. Come spend a day with us. That's a really nice idea for a birthday cruise. Kind of like a birthday girl. This is a birthday cruise for you. Maybe we needed some of those decorations. They hooked it up. They got a nice one. But because our room, no one's gonna see our door because the way our room Oh, is. because it's the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't True. know that it was, I didn't know that. I thought we had just a regular door. Oh wait, That's good. today's oh. the second day we gotta find us. Let's go. All right, so it's day two. We are here. All of our ankles are intact. Kind of. At least three of them. I'm back and I'm better. Whoa. You ain't better than ever today. <laughs> I'm not better than ever, but I will be better than ever, okay? Gotta keep a positive outlook. I ain't gonna let them try to take me down, baby. They took you down last night, though. I'm sorry, she took you down. She did. She did. You guys, you should watch the last vlog because a lady pushed my mother down. Last night ended in a different way than day one has ever ended for us. We ended up in the medical center last night. So we're starting our day off. It's lunchtime and we're gonna have lunch at the Aquadome Market. So the Aquadome Market is like kind of like a, a food truck area or a food hall or all those things that, you know, Royal's paying attention. That the other cruise lines have been very successful. Norwegian has it on Prima. Uh, Virgin has, you know, their version of a food hall. Carnival added these areas next to the pool that you can get street eats. street eats. And now this is a really nice version of it. Like, I mean, a, a beef and broccoli. I've got a gyro, gyro, whatever you want to call it. And it looks, the food looks legit. They got the mac. The mac and cheese has, what, four or five different types of mac and cheese. So, like, Rain got the one with the bacon. Italy. Oh, Italian. My Asian food, it actually is good. I enjoy my beef. My crispy beef with the white rice. Yeah, like you said, it's like Panda Express, so right? It's like Panda Express. We're gonna eat a little bit here, and it's day two, so you already know it's Melon at Sea Day, and we are not the only ones on board. We are meeting up with the Melon at Sea gang, everybody who's on board. We just put a notification out that if you're a Melon at Sea member, you want to link up, let's link up at 1:30 today. So here we go, and we already see Team Reese in the house. Parker's on the go. What did you find out? What's up everybody? Hello, hello everybody. Hello everybody, hello everybody. What's up, what's up everybody? Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys. All right, then we are gonna take the Bell that's the iconic picture. Oh, this is so dope. This is nice. Wow. All right, guys, so we're going to do it's not a group cruise, but Y'all all together, we gonna do a melon in a seat. It's the melon in for me. Three, y'all know that word? Yeah. Oh, I just said not know if you knew it or not. <laughs> what? Heading 
to the Royal Theater for Wizard of Oz. All right, so we just finished the Wizard of Oz. Pansy, Leslie, and Catherine was also in the show. Ladies, what did you think? It was amazing. I know you say, what do you say? A run, not a walk. Yeah. That is exactly what it was. The live orchestra added such an amazing element of voices. Book it as soon as it becomes available on the cruise planner because you do not want to risk not being able to see this cruise. Yes. And guys, we went to the 3 p.m. show. I did not have a reservation, but I wanted to see the show and took a chance stand in the um, standby line. I got in. It was amazing. The theatrics, everything about it, the live band. I love, love, love the show. As a jazzy voice, as Catherine just said, it's a run. <laughs> run for the show. What you think, Patsy? It was definitely a 10 out of 10. One of the best production I've ever seen. Yeah. I've been on 12 crews, and this is the best. Live orchestra, like you said, the theatrical, the dancing, the singing. It was beautiful. It's a run, not a walk. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know, you guys know that I come from a theater background, so to see yeah. see this live and actually it was excellent. The costumes, the wardrobe, the costume changes, the quick costume changes. Yeah. It was really, really good. We love the, the flies in the air, the coming out from the um, from the top. It was really, really good. So make sure you don't miss the Wizard of Oz. Because I have to tell you, it's not on gas, but no. It's definitely a run. Don't walk, run. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Let's see what you got. What does it say? I can't even see it. And it says, ooh. And it says my birthday on it. Ooh. All right, back in the cabin. Taking our ankle bracelet off. And. Ankle bracelet? What am I on? House arrest? Ankle bracelet? Ankles uh, brace. Sorry. <laughs> Criminal. And. <laughs> We got some gifts. I'm Inaugural team gifts. Pink. That's I'm nice. Pink. Those are very nice uh, cups. Wow. The, oh, these are like great. It's mine. Okay. That's mine. And I see a little towel animal. With my hat. All right. They put your hat on there. Yeah, really nice. Very nice. All right, guys. Tonight is formal night, and we are in the main dining room for dinner tonight. Tonight, it is lobster on the menu. So if you like lobster, come to the main dining room. So I'm going to have the escargot. We'll see how that goes. And then I'm also going to order calamari, because I like calamari, and also the lobster. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. for you. Yeah. All right, here we go, as far go. Is she feeling it? Nice and seasoned. The butter, the garlic, the oil. I can see how people like this. Yeah. All right, guys, we just finished dinner for Elegant Nights. The dinner was pretty, pretty decent. I enjoyed it. How's the lobster? The lobster was good. Okay. The second dish, the seafood linguine, I didn't care for. I didn't care for the cream sauce. Okay. But um, yeah, it was pretty decent. Yeah, I had a chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, it tastes yeah. the same if you bought it in the freezer aisle at Sam's Club. Oh, that's a bad thing then. That's no, not I, like, I enjoy I that mean, one. But you're going to a cruise and it should not taste like Sam's Club. Air fryer. It's about the same. Cordon bleu. Air, air fryer, <laughs> right. That's what it tastes yeah. like. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of what it was giving, but. It's not good. Um, so we are now just getting some family photos done because we do have um, pictures that we pre-purchased before getting on the ship. I always tell people, if you're going on a cruise, make sure that you purchase these pictures, especially if you only, you don't, we slow down on getting pictures, but if you cruise maybe once or twice a year,
you want to capture the memories. That's what we're all about, capturing those yeah. memories. And we have all of these beautiful pictures to look back on when they get older. You'd be like, oh, remember when you were on that cruise? How nice. So definitely invest in, in the picture package. It's really yeah. not as expensive as you think it is. So we're going to take some pictures because it's elegant night. And we're about to take a picture in the, in the pearl. So I cannot wait to show you those. And then we're going to head on over to the ice show. Diddy about to come out. Funk Master Flex Night. We are just leaving Starburst, and Starburst is the ice show. I what are our it. thoughts? What are our thoughts? What I, are we I enjoyed it. I give it a 9 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. I would say out of the three shows that we saw, so we've seen Wizard of Oz, which is a 10 out of 10. We've seen the, the Aqua, Aqua show, show, which is a 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. And this then we one saw that to me show. is like a cool 7. Ooh, a 7. Okay. Seven, eight. I'm very impressed with the skating. I'm extremely impressed with the venue. The story of the chemistry class thing doesn't really work for me. That's number one. And number two is the guy who does the juggling, it doesn't fit. It doesn't go. While he's extremely talented, he doesn't skate. It's a skating show. It doesn't yeah, work for maybe me. if he was skating and juggling, it would go. Like, the whole light bulb thing, he's very talented again. I'm not trying to shame him in any way. No, extremely, extremely talented. extremely talented. And we saw him on The Wonder as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for that show and actually the juggling thing has nothing to do with nothing about the peri the periodic theme. table. Right. Well, so, it was like... He was like in the earth and there was like some, one of those were like the planets and he's like controlling the earth, that's why. Girl, he was controlling the light bulb. So, <laughs> I'm good, off that. So yeah. to me, it is still a good show. I do believe you're here for seven days. You should put you should it on your You should definitely go see it. It wasn't a bad show. No, it just, I'm not saying it's that. It's just out of the three that, that was available to us when we came on the sailing, that was, the Third. other two just really outshine it because they were so good. Yeah. Now, back to like Wizard of Oz, it's one of the best shows I've ever seen on any cruise ship. I ever. Yeah. That's how good it is. Yeah. And that's I why like, like a show like this kind of gets downgraded because of how good that is. Wizard of Oz has to be literally probably it's it's coming up to like my number one show on any cruise, show, cruise it's ship. It's up there. It's it's it definitely was my top really, three. Really re top three. Definitely top three. Yeah really really everything really from the venue to the the, the only the, thing I, the band, I requested everything. and i spoke to one of the cast members not that he has control i just said i do believe even though it was an hour and a half and most hour and a half shows even on broadway they don't have an intermission mm. but for this particular show i wish there was because small kids are coming they get antsy and and you know they get tiresome towards the end and like are is it almost over and you're going to hear especially as as yeah. assailants go on you're going to hear a lot of antsy kids yeah. because they didn't get to have that break get something to drink that 15 minutes that they need to just get up and stretch yeah. i think that that's needed in that show yes i know it's not a two and a half hour broadway show but typically on a cruise ship shows are not an hour right. and a half long and, and Royal the, Caribbean is a yeah. family cruise right so yeah. you're gonna have kids in the show absolutely and if if this is supposed to be the ultimate family vacation then keep you, kids in mind keep kids in mind absolutely it's still a 10 out of 10 guys it, the 10 Wizard out of, of 10. Oz is so good 10 out of 10 yeah. I gave it, I'll give it um, an 8.5 8.5 what about the aqua show a 10 out of 10 10? Okay. And what about tonight, the skating show? 10 out of 10. And what about sleeping through the show? <laughs> Where I <laughs> fell asleep at the ice skating show. Well, guys, we hope that you enjoyed this vlog. We really had fun making it. And until the next vlog, guys, continue to live. A rich. And jazzy life. Bye, Bye guys. guys.